Good morning. Welcome to the ethanol distillation tutorial. This video will outline materials required and the procedures to be followed when conducting a simple ethanol distillation. Let's first begin with a bit of background. Distillation is a method of purification in which a liquid is vaporized and successively condensed in order to separate its components. Distillation operates on the property of a substance volatility, or its ease of vaporization. When a liquid is heated, the more volatile substances vaporize, leaving the less volatile substances behind. Thus, liquids containing substances with different levels of volatility can be easily separated by distillation. Ethanol is one such substance, capable of being purified from a fermentation broth to 95% purity. Let's now transition to the setup of the distillation chamber. During this setup and throughout the experiment, we must keep in mind that we are working with very expensive equipment, so please use caution. It is good practice to reduce the moment arms associated with the distillation chamber to reduce the probability of tipping. First, we must prepare the distillation flask or pot by adding boiling chips. These chips will promote boiling and must be added to the liquid before it is heated. Once the boiling chips have been added, safely attach the pot to the stand as shown here. To further reduce tipping, place a brick or two on the bottom of the stand. We will then be ready to attach the condenser to the stand. Underneath the condenser, place the receiving flask. The setup should look similar to this. Now add the ethanol solution that is to be distilled in the distillation flask. Once added, insert the glass cap that has been provided to reduce the loss of volatiles. Next, place the heating source, or Bunsen burner, under the distillation flask. The distillation chamber is now complete and should look similar to this. Now that the chamber is ready, remove the glass cap that is covering the distillation flask and insert the temperature probe. Next, carefully heat the heating source and place it beneath the pot. Soon, the ethanol solution shall begin to boil. While it is boiling, the temperature shall steadily rise until it reaches approximately 79 degrees Celsius. At this point, the temperature will remain constant for a period of time. During this time, ethanol of 95% purity is being vaporized from the solution and is being condensed and collected in the receiving flask. Continue to monitor the temperature. Eventually, it will spike. At this point, remove the heating source as you are no longer vaporizing ethanol. Continued boiling after this point will dilute the ethanol that is being collected in the receiving flask. After allowing the receiving flask to cool, ethanol concentration levels of the collected ethanol solution may be analyzed through the use of an ethanol probe, similar to that of the one shown here. However, before it can be used, it must first be calibrated with known ethanol concentrations. The pictures shown here are a common calibration technique. Note that the ethanol probe does not get inserted directly into the solutions. Once successfully calibrated, measure the ethanol concentrations of the ethanol solution before and after distillation. Finally, clean up your station while remaining cautious of expensive and potentially hot equipment. Thank you for watching this instructional tutorial on ethanol distillation. 